The difference between recovery when we compare implants and natural tissue or a flap uh, depends a little bit on where the location is and what, what tissue we take. It also, of course, depends on the patient. Uh, recovery is certainly patient specific. Uh, theoretically, implants are an easier recovery. Um, in most situations with implants, we're able to go through the same incision as a tissue expander was placed. A tissue expander comes out, implant goes in and most people don't have a lot of pain. Now that being said, in my patients, I offer pretty much everyone fat grafting, which then means now all of a sudden we're not just operating on the breast, we are now operating on a different part of the body. So that means there is a recovery from that. So that means liposuction of the thighs or the tummy or something like that. And while that's not a big recovery, it is some downtime and it is some discomfort. So what I typically will quote patients is, they're usually pretty good by about three or four weeks, and I restrict them for four weeks. If we go with shaped implants, then I ask that they wear a bra for four weeks, and I ask that they don't do anything strenuous for, for four weeks. And the reason for that is we don't want those implants to rotate. They're designed to, spe to sit as a very specific way, and anything that's too aggressive or too much motion can cause those to rotate. Um, in contrast, for the flap surgery or using your own tissue, most of the recovery is dictated by the donor site, not necessarily the breast. The breast people typically tolerate very well. It's more of the tummy or, or uh, in a deep flap or the back of the thighs in a pap flap. And in those situations, we typically restrict people for six weeks. And that's to avoid any wound problems or uh, any internal problems or anything like that. But after six weeks, most people can go back to pretty normal activities.